uh, akufe 19th azikwe 29th and also 50 million for the task these are statements from Moses Kuria and actually these statements from Moses Kuria has not gone well with Kenyans especially Kenyans supporting Rala Modinga people are seeing that as if the government is planning to eliminate Raila Amolo Odinga. Now, um, before we expand on this matter, if you are new, of course, let's treat my greetings. I'm hoping you're doing well, wherever you are. Now, uh, Moses Kuria is now trending number one on YouTube, sorry, on Twitter. And actually, this is because of his, there are going to be, you know, his weird remarks, yeah, against Raila Odinga's life. Actually, Moses Kuria has been insisting that Raila Odinga should be killed. Let me just put it straight. That's what he's, he's been he's been saying. Yeah, he's been saying it in Kikuyu, even in English. And actually, um, yesterday he said that Raila will be eliminated on 19th. That's Wednesday, when the next Mandamano will take place, and then he will be buried after 10 days on 29th. 29th. Same same month. Now, of course, um, Australia and Asema, the same one low lipo, kama a lipo larger. Yeah. Now, um, and today morning, he woke up and of course wrote something that is of course shocking. He said that 50 million for the job, for the task. But he did not say this job, what this job is. But Kenyans can easily know the insinuation like he's trying to say 50 million for whoever will assassinate so and so because that's what kenyans have believed and of course even me myself i believe that <laughs> okay um I, I don't know whether i should say that he's just joking because i believe eliminating someone like maybe lala Modinga is <laughs> not a joke <laughs> because right now sh god forbid should something bad happen to Raila Molodinga, truth be told, um, this, this country not be stable because already the government, some top officials from the government have shown interest in carrying out the INES Act. That of course, I don't know whether it's what's going to happen or it's what they thought, they think, or they're just talking just to, you know, to please Kenyans. Now, um, Kenyans are calling out Ruto's name. People are like, how can you give Moses Kuria such a big office, someone who cannot even reason? That's what Kenyans are saying on Twitter, because how can you just say that you want to eliminate someone like Raila Molinga? Remember, Raila is, I think, is the most popular politician in Kenya. Um, let, let's assume that maybe Ruto won fairly. Let's assume that. Uh, if I told Ruto one fairly, he just gave Raila a margin of probably 150,000 votes. 150,000 is a very small number. Was Ruto got slightly over 7 point something million votes and Raila got 6.9. So you see now, Raila of course is that these people divided the numbers into two. And remember, this election, a huge number did not vote. Maybe this huge number belonged to Raila Bodinga. So you can't say that it is about Raila Mordinga, no, it is about the whole country, yeah, because that represents Nyanza, Coast, Western, Okamban, you see, so when you eliminate Raila Mordinga, you are eliminating these other regions, yeah, so these other regions will be enemies, will be your enemies, yeah, so and you won't even be able to go and attack these people. Um, me, I believe that Kura is just joking, I believe so, because if there's that, there was that plan, I believe you would have been talking about it, yeah? You would have done it, maybe secretly. Like you have seen the past assassinations. You've seen Saitoti assassinated, yeah? And they never mentioned it before. You have seen, you know, even Tom Boyer, you know, not these powerful people that have been killed in Kenya. No one talks about it, yeah? As in, you don't talk about it before it happens. But this time around, we are seeing leaders talking about it. It not only was in Korea, even the Shagwa, even the president himself, Ruto also has been saying, has been making some statements that somehow people think that he's trying to tell Kenyans that he wants to deal with Raila once and for all. Okay, how is dealing 
what, what, what do you mean when you say that you want to deal with so and so once and for all? I think that, that that's the question people like you know answered. Like, how do you deal with that person? Are you going to arrest him? Are you going to jail him? Are you, are you going to put him under house arrest? Like, what are you going to do to that person? Because you can say that I want to deal with you once and for all. What do you want to do? Like, what are you planning to do to this person? Yeah, because even the president said that should Uru Kenyatta continue supporting Raila Modinga, then they, they will deal with him too. They will. Let me put it this way. Where we talks in the Kiza na Raila. I mean, Kenyans want to know, to you know, to, to decipher. I mean, to, to, to try to know what does this thing know. I mean, believe, mean like, no, in the Kiza wapi to hell, to heaven. Where, where? Tell us, because these are big people. You can't just tell Raila Modinga to keep quiet. He has the rights to politics because he's the leader. He's a leader, yeah, and he represents uh, this country, yeah. So um, those current statements are not going well with Kenyans and people see this as a way of trying maybe to intimidate Raila Modinga or trying to show Kenyans that we want to kill this man. Anyway, um, I don't talk much but let's wait and see what will happen. But I believe nothing like that can happen in this country, not in this century. <laughs> yeah, not in this century. So subscribe and of course tell me what to think about this issue. Do you think it is okay for Moses Kura to threaten Odinga's life?